Hello everyone, and thanks for watching and listening to this short video. My name is Woody Adams with Intuit, and I wanted to go over go over with you best practices and run through converting from QuickBooks Reckon to a QuickBooks Online subscription using the new QuickBooks Online data conversion tool. So let's start with where you actually get the tool, and then we'll go kind of your pre and post conversion you know, tips and tricks, if you will. So when you come to the intuit.com.au site, you click on for accountants and bookkeepers, you'll see down below an option to download the conversion tool. And all it really requires you to do is put in your email address and click get free conversion tool. And then at that point you click download and I do suggest that you save it somewhere like the desktop. And the reason that is, is it's not, the tool is not like something that natively installs into Windows. It's not going to be your add or move programs. It's just going to be somewhere. So you need to know where it is to run it real simple so you download and let it be saved as that and that's that another thing to point out on that first page is a link below the get free conversion tool use our step-by-step -step guide uh, very helpful you click on that and you're brought to this page where you can go ahead and click on the conversion tool discussion form it's like the second or third article and you'll have this 13 page guide how to prepare to convert to quickbooks online from reckon uh, and then also you know, everything from you know, having the admin no password all the way to how you link uh, map the GST codes with QuickBooks Online uh, and things like that. So it's a very helpful guide and then what to do post conversion as well. So make sure you read that. It's a great read, very helpful. Now, before we actually do the conversion, I want to quickly go through the GST mapping. All right, so QBO is very intelligent on this front, uh, and of course with your chart of accounts, particularly with the uh, tax. So I'm, I'm in my QuickBooks Online subscription. Right? And first off, I did want to point out, go to company preferences and set up everything you need to. You know, your company name, your address, uh, your ABN number, etc. All important stuff to have. And then you'll notice the last tab in the, the tab menu bar is the GST. So go ahead and click on that. It'll go ahead and bring you to the GST center. You have an option here just to turn GST on. And once you do, we give you a lot of default rates and settings, right? GST, free, free export, capital, etc. If you want to add other tax rates based on your tax code list in your reckon file, click new tax. For example, I'm just going to add a quick tax code to show you how, but you can do group rates, custom tax. I'm going to click next and you just put in the, the percentage and then, you know, what agency it was, leave it for GST and what it applies to. In this case, it'd be like purchases. And then here's the rate, the liability. You can even select the tax amounts and return lines for, for BAS reporting. Okay. So that's where you take care of that. And it'll help with the mapping when we go through the converter tool. So I'm going to go ahead and sign out on my QBO file, because I'll be signing back in. You guys will see what I mean there. But definitely, remember that user guide. Very helpful, nice screenshots. And the converted tool, again, I already saved it to my desktop. I'm going to go ahead and double click on it. And click Run. And we'll let that come up. First step, it's going to find your software. Right, right away it knows I have Reckon QuickBooks 2012-13 installed. So I'm going to click on that. And it knows my data file, my QuickBooks company file in Reckon. If you don't see the file there, it means you don't have it open. So definitely have it open. Okay. We're going to go ahead and click Next. And now I'm going to sign in to you know, my QBO subscription. And that's what you're doing here. And you're going to click Sign In. Now you're not going to see as many different company files as I have. I do a lot of testing, of course, but you choose the one, you'll probably just have the one there. And it's important to note out, to note here, if you want, you can just import lists and balances. You know, just draw a line in the sand and enter your opening balance journal entry when you get into the QuickBooks Online file. However, I'm going to do a full conversion and import from the QuickBooks Desktop Reckon 2, including transactions and data, uh, to QuickBooks Online. Now, if you have had a QuickBooks Online subscription, you're like in your first 30 or 60 days, remember that all data in the company file will be replaced by the source data coming from the QuickBooks desktop file. Okay, important to note. But typically, you guys are just going to have an empty shell of a QuickBooks Online subscription, and that's what you're going to be bringing the, the data into. So import to QuickBooks Online and click OK. And first thing, it's going to get the tax codes and rates from QuickBooks Desktop. And QuickBooks Online is very intelligent in how it, map, it maps them 
to what we have in the GST Center that I just showed you in the QuickBooks Online subscription. Of course, you, if you add more rates, you can then have options to choose other codes like CDG and you click the drop down and you would have CDG here to choose. So I'm going to finish off this selection and then we'll go to mapping the actual chart of accounts. So the converter tool is very smart on mapping the account. So I have my account name in the reckon file and then I have the type and then we have the account subtype which would be the, the basically the account subtypes from the QuickBooks Online subscription. So we are going to go ahead and map up what we believe is correct. However, anything you can go through and have the ultimate rule. So instead of supplies and materials for payroll expense, I'm going to go ahead and choose payroll expenses and so on. So once you're done with the account mapping, go ahead and click next. And do you want to proceed? Click OK. And now it's going to prepare and upload the file uh, to our servers. And at this point, congratulations, QuickBooks Online is importing a copy of your data. You should receive an email in the next hour when the import is complete. So I'm going to stop this part of the video at this point, and there'll be a part two similar uh, length of video post conversion. You'll actually get two emails. One will tell you that we received it. You'll receive another email uh, when you can go ahead and log in. The conversion is complete. So I hope this has been helpful up to this point, and I'll see you on the other side.